I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, wings, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name Hello and thank you for joining me on Delicious Dishes and Desserts. Today is Mother's Day and if you like strawberry lemonade then you will love this dish. It is strawberry lemon cake. Yes, the both will be combined together. And we are going to bake that today. So the instructions and the recipe will be listed in the description box below. So let's get started. In my bowl, I have already measured out two cups of cake flour. And I'm using King Arthur's cake flour, which is here on the box. And it's unbleached cake flour, which is really good for cakes. And it is a very fine texture. And it is perfect for baking desserts. I have mentioned before when I have made my crepes that it is also good for crepes. I've already measured in baking powder and baking soda. And I'm going to add right now a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. Now, cornstarch is also good in baking cakes, too. And it is, if you into box cakes, you will notice that cornstarch is one of the ingredients in some of the box cakes. So I'm just going to whisk this all together to make sure that it is evenly incorporated. I'm going to add my half teaspoon salt and I'm going to whisk this also and this is our dry ingredients in this bowl now in the bowl that's going to have all of our wet ingredients it is going to have five eggs well actually let's not start with the eggs let's go with the butter we want to make sure that when baking all of your ingredients are at room temperature Room temperature butter gives it a really nice texture. Room temperature eggs and the sour cream that will be added. In this bowl, I have my sugar. And this is probably about one and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to blend this all together. Until it's light and fluffy. sugar will look something like this. Next I'm going to add in my pure vanilla and this will be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to also add in my lemon zest and this is also one teaspoon. And like I mentioned earlier the ingredients and recipe will be listed in the description box. Okay, now it's time for the eggs. And in a separate bowl, I'm going to crack open my eggs. And these are farm eggs, so they came from my mom's neighbor. So definitely have to crack these in a separate bowl because you want to make sure you don't have any extra little pets that might be trying to possibly grow in there. And I'm going to blend. And some might ask, why am, I add, why am I adding one egg at a time? Well, it's to make sure that everything is incorporated evenly. And you want to make sure that everything blends well together. Because you don't want to have any separation. Okay. 
And it might seem like a lot of steps, but it is all worth it once you get this batter together. So far, all my eggs are looking nice. I came up with this recipe because I was like, hmm. I know a lot of people like lemon cake, a lot of people like strawberry cake, so why not combine them both together? Strawberry lemon cake. Really, really good. here so I don't have to reach around this far. All five eggs were perfect. Next I'm going to combine in one fourth cup of lemon juice. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice and I removed all the seeds and that's going to give it some nice flavor. That's my garbage bowl there. I'm going to blend that up. And then I'm going to add in my sour cream. Sour cream is going to give the extra moistness that this cake will need. Sit this down and kind of get the rest of this out. When I made this cake the first time and I let my mother taste it, So good. Oh yeah, she went crazy over it. She said, oh, you got to make a bigger version because I did just a small loaf pan size. Okay. Now that we are done with our wet ingredients, now we're about to go and start incorporating our dry ingredients into the wet mixture. But before I do that, I'm going to add my strawberries into the dry ingredients. And this is going to help the strawberries stay separated when it goes into the cake. Now, sometimes when you add in, you know, fillers and stuff, like nuts or chocolate chips and everything, and your strawberries or whatever fruit or filling that you use inside the dry mixture um, or inside your cake, if you notice sometimes it might all sink to the bottom, and when you flip it out, you're like, hey, I got all my filling and stuff all at the bottom. Well, sometimes it could come from not and letting the dry ingredients incorporate each and every part and so that way when it bakes it could be evenly distributed throughout the cake and not just all lumped up at the bottom okay strawberries are all covered and I'm going to slowly incorporate portions of this cake at a time and then I'm going to blend it And I would use my KitchenAid mixer, but at the moment, this was a little more convenient for me to do. already starting to smell that nice fresh lemon come through this batter. Okay, that is our last bit and now to blow this up. this 
as well as possible. Making sure that all your ingredients are incorporated. And I forgot to get a spatula, so you want to make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl. Get all of that in there. all done. And boy, whoo -hoo, the strawberries and the lemon in this cake looks good. That is the um, consistency that you're looking for, for your cake. Now I'm going to take a bundt cake pan and use my, um, whoop, there goes the cap, the um, cooking spray or for baking. Now you can butter your pan like the old fashioned way and then flour it with your hands. But I'm doing a quick way using the uh, pan for baking and making sure I get all around the center part because you don't want no parts of your cake sticking. And now I'm about to pour my mixture into the cake pan as even as possible. Thank you, camera person. Trying to get it as even as possible. And when this cake starts to bake, you're going to smell all that fresh lemon that is in here. Okay. I'm going to shake this around. Make sure that it's evenly proportioned in my pan. And then I'm going to bake this because of the type of cake pan I'm using. This is pretty thick. So it's going to burn possibly my cake. And so instead of doing the traditional 350, I'm going to bake this at 325 for about 50 minutes. And this is going to make sure that it is done all the way. Now I will check at the 45 minute mark with a, um, a cake tester to make sure there's no wetness on the inside. It might be done, it may not be. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to say about a good 50 minutes at 325. And we'll be back on making this nice, delicious strawberry glaze that's going to go on top of this. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me again on Delicious Dishes and Desserts. And this is the finished product of the strawberry lemon cake. Right now it is cooling and all those little fresh strawberries are coming through as you can see on this cake. And now I'm about to do the glaze for it. Which I am going to turn my saucepan on about medium high heat. And this is just a little bit shy of two cups of fresh strawberries and then I'm going to add about three quarter cups of sugar because this is going to be the glaze Oop, little strawberry got away this is going to be the glaze that's going to go over the cake and also I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice and there's quite a few seeds in here so I'm going to pluck off some of these seeds that are at the top and the cake for this size in that pan, I had to end up letting it bake for not 50 minutes, but I let it go for about an hour and five minutes. So it came to about 65 minutes. Okay, now I'm about to squeeze some of that lemon juice in here. Catch some of the seeds that might try to come out. And it looked like one seed got away. But this is going to infuse and bring out all that strawberry and lemon that's already in the cake. And this is the other half of the lemon.
like I said, this cake is not only perfect for like Mother's Day, like today, but it is also good for summer. The summertime, the strawberry lemon cake. Mm, mm, mm. So delicious. All right. Now that we have that going, we're going to let this strawberry glaze and eat with the lemon juice. We're going to cook down until it's already reduced to like a sauce type consistency. And if you want, you can also get like a little fork or potato masher and just kind of mash the strawberries to get some of that um, juices help it release out of there. So I'm going to get a fork and just kind of gently mash on some. Turn it around a little bit. Just gently mash. This glaze is going to taste so good. And whatever you have left, you can use it for strawberry lemonade. If you don't use the whole portion. Okay. Going to let that cook down and reduce. Come to a boil. Mmm. Look at those strawberries. That is going to be so good over this cake. Okay, we'll be right back with the finished product. Hello and welcome back. This is how the sauce looks. Mmm. What I had to end up doing is adding about a quarter teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with some cold water and to make this strawberry sauce a little thick and have the glaze and this is the final product those strawberries have dissolved almost but not all the way and now it is time to pour it over this delicious strawberry and lemon cake mm, mm, mm. so good let's get this ladle here and swap this spatula out mmm gonna tilt it over a little bit bring this as close as possible and just kinda slowly drizzle it on Ooh look at that let me see if I can zoom in and get a closer, better look at this cake. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. This strawberry glaze and this cake. I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Make you want to slap your grandmama and great grandma. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. So beautiful. So. Woo. I tell you. Mm. All of that goodness right there. Mmm. Oops, it's slipping on the side, but who cares? Oh, yeah. Now, you're able to either cut into it now while it's nice and warm. Now, I did let my cake rest for about 15 minutes, but I don't feel like waiting for this cake to cool off. I think mm, I'm going to try... And cut a piece now. Look how nice and ooh, delicious this cake look. Mm. And it's so moist. Not dry. That delicious flavor of the strawberries. 
<laughs> Ooh, delicious. Look. Mmm. Nice, moist cake. And like I said, if you want the recipe for this delicious strawberry lemon cake, mmm, please click on the link below and you will see it in the description box. So good. Perfect for Mother's Day or any holiday or just because it's summer, spring, winter, fall. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks for watching and please click like, subscribe, and mm, I got to taste this in front of you guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. This cake. Mm. Moist. The lemon. Mm. I can't eat no more on camera. But thanks for watching. And you all have a nice and happy and safe Mother's Day. And please share this video. And follow me on Facebook on Delicious Dishes and Desserts. Goodbye.